the week ahead. Normally, I like to be a little more certain in the uh, weekend report with a little bit more specificity about how we open the week. I'm not sure that's possible this week. I want to cover several points in order to get your thinking um, prepared to handle many different scenarios in the market. Following the last PCE report, I ask, while it showed positive news on inflation, was it showing that the economy was slowing too quickly? Short-term traders, not investors, considered the news positive. I saw no similar reaction from the investment community. That set up a very dangerous environment. Friday's employment report supported the view that the economy may be slowing too quickly. The emphasis, of course, is on maybe. The market's been ahead of itself for some time. Last week in the week ahead, we reviewed the mechanical nature of recent trade. The attached graphic allows you to refresh your view of the mechanical advance and how that advance, you know, almost perfectly near the end of the advance, fit a trend line. As we've discussed, when the market is this exacting, that is usually an indication of very late laggard traders. What the market has done since then confirms that outlook. The following graphic shows that re recent break and particularly Friday's break. Friday's break was respecting the mechanical trend lines with Friday's low approximately at the 100-day moving average. When you see the 100-day moving average on the second graphic, you see how close it is to Friday's low. This strongly suggests that the recent selling was from traders rather than from the investment community. This may or may not be good news. Investment money usually doesn't enter until the market is off just as a guesstimate 7 to 9%. If the investment money, you know, were in and out of the market too often, they would lose the advantage that they get from time in the market. In earlier reports, I remained open to the possibility of the worst of all scenarios. The worst of all scenarios was stagflation. This still must be considered. Stagflation, as you remember, is sharply declining employment and inflation staying stubbornly high. It's a long way until the next FOMC meeting in September and the anticipated race rate cut. Any surprise negative reaction news in August could severely pressure the market. I'm not anticipating that negative um, information on inflation. However, I want to prepare you not to rule it out. Keep an open mind. Most traders are likely anticipating the continuation of buying breaks. Recent news and market action alerts me to the opposite possibility of traders reverting to selling rallies. Again, this is not something that I'm, you know, absolute certain of. I want to open your mind to the possibility. Next week is relatively light on economic information. Short-term traders, as the week opens, should focus on the 100-day SMA. Holding that SMA 
sets us up for some type of recovery rally. Failure to hold the 100-day SMA continues the downside trend that is currently underway. Thank you and have a great week.